Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I just recorded the Ethereum update. Bitcoin is very similar. By the way, just um, a word of, not a word of caution, but really just to note, uh, I, I am going for the next video. So after this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the wave count over to the Binance chart because here for Bitcoin, I'm still using um, another exchange, Bitstamp, which is sort of historical reasons, but I'm going to move over to the Binance chart. Um, it just gives a more accurate view volume is higher and the prices sometimes differ a little bit between Binance and Bitstamp um, and my view is that Binance is more accurate. So I'm going to do that after this video. So the next video after this should have more accurate prices. Um, the difference isn't great, but you sometimes get a $10, $15 difference or so and that can make quite a bit of a difference in terms of invalidation, validation and so on. That is one problem that you get when you analyze crypto, which is which is a problem. Um, it, it really is a problem. I mean, at some point, but I, I think we will always have this problem. You know, there are just slight differences between exchanges. Um, you even sometimes get differences between like Coinbase, Bitsta, uh, Coinbase, and and whatever Kraken sometimes, and 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 Binance. You know, and they are large exchanges, so you still get differences between them. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. That's the crypto world, and that unfortunately doesn't make the life as analyst easier. It doesn't have a major impact, but overall, you know, Bit Bitcoin on on Bitfinex, it will still overall uh, follow Bitstamp, it will still follow, you know, Binance and so on. They are still all related, but um, it's the question is, you know, what is the most accurate view? Where's the volume the highest? And that's, I think, worth, you know, where we should follow. Um, anyway, we're looking still here at this scenario. We are in the, in the white support area. Um, we've reached basically the target down here and the support area again after we reach this support area this support area this support area we've reached this support area now uh, ideally we are turning around from here ideally we're going to move up in a c wave i did explain that in the previous video that this move would just look much better with one more wave to the upside and then it has a chance to come down going down straight away is of course possible um, and it is getting more likely the further we drop and there are clear points below which I will say, okay, we're probably going to go down without that C wave to the upside. At the moment, this is still possible, but of course it's getting challenged. And I'm going to take, tell you in this video, what are the points below which I'm going to lean strongly towards a direct sell off, even without a blue C wave to the upside, which could take us into the 17.3 yeah, K region at least. Um, so what are these levels and what are the levels above which we can say that this correction down has been finished and we are most likely moving up already in the blue sea wave. So first of all, let's talk about the wave pattern here. In my opinion, it is an ABC structure. ABC could be something more bullish. One, two, three, four, five, but they are moving here in very similar ways. So we don't really know the difference. Um, and it doesn't really matter because in the short term they move very similar. And also it doesn't matter in the bigger picture because in the bigger picture I do expect another low afterwards for Bitcoin anyway, which means another low in the 14k region. So the question is just do we get three waves up here? Do we get five waves up? But in the short term it doesn't really matter. But if we drop below certain support levels we're going to break down straight away and then this pattern is broken and the confirmation for that would be between uh, below 15,880, which means if we drop below 15,880, it is for me confirmed that we're going to go down directly into the 14K region, maybe even lower. Um, until then, we still have a chance to move up. However, it, it will already get massively, massively less likely below the white support box. So if we drop below 16,375, I'm starting to lean towards a direct sell-off, which doesn't mean the C wave potential to the upside is completely invalidated. We always need to keep that in mind also when we do deal with our risk management, when we have our trading plan and the strategies and when we're trading this, but I'm leaning towards the downside. Yeah, at that point, at the moment, it's still possible. I'm still leaning towards a C wave to the upside just because it is the more likely scenario and it gives us the right look here. And the right look is very important when you talk about price structures which doesn't mean the chart is always adhering to it. So the chart could say, come on, I do my own thing and I'm going to break down. So that's why these levels are so important. This support area is now very important. Breaking below it will make this move to the upside very unlikely. And this is based between, you know, on the 88.7% FIB level here. Going below that level will make another C wave to the upside very, very unlikely. 
And to the upside, when can we say that this move down is finished? Well, we can say that already at least, no, we can't say that, but it, a first indication would be a break above the previous swing high, which is here at 16,650, and a break above 16,770, the B wave high, would be a very strong indication that the low is in here. At the moment, there is no evidence. This move up looks corrective, so I'm rather leaning towards one more leg to the downside. How could this wave structure evolve? Well, it's very difficult. I mean, this could be some kind of an ending diagonal in the C wave. Um, it's not a very clear, I don't have a very clear picture here of the micro counts. This could be a one, two, three, four as a diagonal and another leg down. Could also be what I told you on the Ethereum chart, um, even though that is a little bit less likely here on the Bitcoin chart due to how the subdivisions are working out. But it could be that the B wave is still unfolding and that's uns that it is unfolding as a triangle. A wave up, B wave down, clear three waves up, three waves down, so valid. Then now a C wave to the upside, another D wave down and an E wave up. That would finish off the B wave and we would then come down afterwards. That's possible as well, but it would be a very, very weird triangle which is evolving here, but certainly not um, not impossible. Yeah. So I just want to make you aware of this possible triangle shape. And then we could come down in the C wave afterwards. So these are the possibilities. I think it's worth not to get too, you know, too, in, too much involved here with a subwave structure. Uh, or get too, you know, sort of uh, too, 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 you know, try to really get every every small subwave correct here because most likely these are going to change anyway. This is sort of lower level wave counting, micro counting, but it gives us an orientation, it gives us a roadmap. My view is that at the moment this move down is not yet finished. We still have good chances for upside as long as we're holding in the white support area. Dropping below the white support area will reduce the blue. C wave to the upside, the likelihood of seeing this, but it will not completely invalidate it. Only a move below the blue line down there at 15,880 will make it really, really, really unlikely. And in the current wave pattern, it's not to justify that anymore. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's additional content every day. And if you're interested, please check out our trading course that we offer on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.